Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you? Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux. Now that I think about it, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. There you are. You're the traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? Oh, is that right? <laughs> the fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Captain Beido sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Beido is the captain of of course! There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself. So you'll be heading off then? I suppose can whether the journey before you leads to the heights of the heavens or the depths of the abyss until we meet again. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? So there's another Catherine at Nina Zuma? <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my... Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. You finally made it. All these years, come rain or storm, the Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were any... <laughs> Don't look too serious, I'm only joking. You're just on time. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. Anchors, away!
Oh, hi there. So, you finally made it. You sure kept me away. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say... You can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation precedes them. It seems even the stormy sea... <laughs> oh. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board, after all. Oh, right! Kazuha! Until next time, Traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storm- Fair seas, Captain Beto! Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. Um, Paimon thought we were supposed to be keeping things on the de <laughs> Don't underestimate the reaches of the Sokoku Decree. You wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried. So we have to play by the rules, even if we're kind of bending them. Hello? Please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you talk. You must be... new here. Uh -huh. Excuse me? Please provide the information requested, and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. Currently, only members of the International Trade Association are authorized to engage in the import and ex- Um... My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to- Here are the entry papers, for your kind perusal. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay. Your papers are all in order. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, as the words suggest, Outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku Decree, not even on Rito, where they've established an outsider settlement. <laughs> I like how you think. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo Commission? Yes, one branch of the Tri-Commission of Inazuma, responsible for growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for- Yes, please. Okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. Two million? For a processing fee? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. Paimon wasn't so much questioning your math as- <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you- Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce- <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. That's not how you haggle! By all means- 
All right then, as you wish, Mr. Toma. <laughs> Much obliged. It's not as mind-boggling as you think. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of- So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas, with more money than cents, gets stuck here, and needs to apply for residency... Then they'll milk them for all they're worth! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who reigns on high. Huh. <laughs> I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Sh- Uh-huh. And is- Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden- Really? Wow, the Rito Fixer's been- <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it could be done. Connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too! <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about more. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that, if this is something you really- I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle, so you have to try- <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk- Huh? Hello there. You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. Ah, good. That's a relief. <sighs> we heard the association has been having some difficulties lately. Yes. Left, right, and center. Obstacles at every turn. The Sokoku Decree certainly makes things difficult for anyone who wants to come here from over- But it's not the root cause of our woes. The Sokoku Decree might restrict our scope of activity, but in and of itself, it doesn't stop us from being able to enjoy a comfortable existence. No, what's really squeezing us Outlander merchants dry is... those Mora Grubbers from the Kanjo Commission. Oh, of the three commissions, that's the one that oversees everything on Rito, isn't it? That's right. They impose astronomical tax rate, unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. They just issued a new tax decree recently that, for some reason, completely changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? <sighs> something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Eventually. One of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. 
now there's only one vendor who even has it in stock. Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from them because the tax decree forces us to. It's a vicious cycle, the consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And <sighs> we've tried communicating with the commission directly, but this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. I'm Sounds awful. There, what do you think we should do? But Chris is the head of the association, and even uh, right. And besides, okay. Well, we could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. Uh, that vendor. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point, he stopped contacting us. Hmm. What? Well, Sounds like he's being unfair. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, if I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Got it! We're on the case! I don't think I recognize you. Are you newer? So, what do you need with me? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. Trade secret, got it? You know what trade and secret mean. This guy's got a bad attitude. Ha! <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying for me in the first place. And they all- What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. was quick. You were Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite- Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the international trip. Huh. Member of the International Trade Yes. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. Huh. What a bummer! The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on- <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. What are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any- Huh? Where is this coming from? Mondstadt? You were talking about... Mo
goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I... <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. <sighs> oh, how it takes me back. Oh, my hometown. The home of freedom. Oh, it's working! <sighs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> so, try... Huh? What is this? What are you up to? Just close your eyes already! You mean... The sound of the ocean? <gasps> Leah Harbor! I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves. The Xiao Lanterns. <laughs> I'm right there at the lantern right. This guy has a really active imagination. Either... <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. You mean, the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... <sighs> They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed, so I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do it. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? But I betrayed them. I, I can't show my face there. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right! So come on, get it off your chest! What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back to the merchants at an extortionate price. It's just... I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take evidence. Hmm. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose! Let's go! Keijiro! It's him! After him! Love for freedom. Which one should I choose? <sighs> should I close early? It's not like I'll get any customers. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! Ah, real too close! That's too close! He'll notice this for sure! Which one should I choose? Now, who else? Too close! That's too close! He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! Hmm. What was that sound? Must be here and things. Uh, drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. He's getting further and further away! Let's catch up a little! What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, didn't it? 
Why don't we take a look? Let me take a look here. Aha, yes! This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? You aren't gonna come with us? I... I need a little more time before I'm ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. Huh? A pretty awkward guy, huh? But we really don't have anything left. If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve! You know the decree. The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses! Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger, so now we're here to- Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us! Well, uh, you, you, you see- Let me take a look at the ledger. Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made- So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining- <laughs> So you think you can use this against me, do you? I it's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn- Word has it that Samurai and the Commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman- uh, Well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the reason- Is that it? Oh, do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? And not even an of shame for him. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help. Come on, Harrison. We've already struck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Ah, Chief. You've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh. We were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure- Oh, and you dare to utter the Commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for- Seize the merchants! We will resolve this dispute back at head- Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now. Is there any need for this? If- Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? Ha! You never heard of the Fixer? Here's my card. Huh. You're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh. Well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you- <laughs> Of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young- Lady of our clan, some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That fan. The Shirasagi Himegimi. I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. But, Chief! Enough! We're leaving! Let's get dinner one day soon, gentlemen. My treat, I insist. <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned, then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. 
<laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will... Huh? What was all that? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Corruption seems rife in the Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> All right, it's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> Straight to the point. Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Uh, you've been keeping your true identity a secret from us this whole time? So... The Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covered. I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite- Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves the same treatment in return. Miss Kamisato's situation. You're asking the right questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Cap. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Inazuma may have closed off to the outside world, but that hasn't stopped a lot of people from hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? In the test I gave you earlier, although there were a few hiccups at the end, it was you who found the way to turn the situation around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage, it's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree... Ah... Uh, hmm... That's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Yes, of course. I completely understand and, as agreed, I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. Toma's not such a bad guy, huh? Huh? What's up? Oh, right! Paimon forgot all of it. Wait, so... did Toma forget that too? Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing! As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamura Tea House to settle the score! <sighs> well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. Stop there. Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kind of... If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Ah, <sighs> as expected. 
Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few tr- Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespass. We are here to see, uh... The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be... Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Commissioner! These two are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm. Come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Huh! Did you get all that? M m my sincere apologies! I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hira- Nice to meet you, sir. So, the reason we wanted to come and see you- All right, all right, all in good time. Two travelers renowned for- <laughs> So what you're saying is, we really are pre- Absolutely. How many other people in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of Storm Terror's sails and put the overlook- Exactly! Paimon thinks he- And... I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in a- Whoa! You heard about that too? Uh hmm... Has something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Oh, well, sure. No problem. Whatever you need, right? Excellent. Well then, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the... Yep. Yes, bring me 300 Shinxin, would you? Freshly picked, I mean. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? Hmm? Too much trouble, is it? Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. That sounds much more like it. 709 letters, to be precise. Hey, what gives? How come you don't have people to do that already? Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> you two. Huh? What did we do? Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. A letter? Quick! Let Paimon see! So this means she wants you to secretly meet her at night? But you didn't seem surprised at all by this. What? Huh? Have you been up to something behind Paimon's back? Hmm. Let's ask her tonight and see what she has to say.
You finally arrived. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. This is technically the second time we have met. It's a pleasure to see you again. Wow. She's the daughter of the... No need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments. Is it Paimon or does something seem a bit... The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is... Well... Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering a letter. Ugh. Like father, like daughter. Come on. No, you misunderstand me. Please. I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would... <sighs> there is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito. But you are outlanders. Outland... <gasps> Paimon gets the whole picture now. Of course, in doing so, I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. To be perfectly honest, as long as you remain in Inazuma, my father will have no intention of letting you leave Rito. Yeah, we figured as much. It was pretty obvious he was just trying to hold us up here. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant- They seemed to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. In fact, it was the first time I had ever heard my father speak- We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the border. Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to Watatsumi Island? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and- My lady, you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort the shipment personally, are you? There's certainly- Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father ha Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this- Now, need I remind you of the penalty if anything were to happen to me en route? I'm- Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee my safety on your own? Boy, Chisato can talk the talk! Uh, uh, yes, my lady. Very well then. It, it's an honor to have you accom- Shinojo! You can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. Yes, but that's not the problem here. Well then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. You heard her. There's no time to lose. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as we'll handle it! Will I feel the creep? I got careless. Quick! Free! Such a... You're open! Picked the wrong time. Time for takeoff. That tingle? Midnight Phantasmagoria! Boba, get it! Terra Smash! Hey, yeah! Uh, picked the wrong test subject. Another test. Brace yourself! Odd oh, reveal by Surprise! Monster sighted! Prepare to counterattack! Protect Lady Hiraki at all costs! We'll take care of this! Stay with Chisato! Here we go! 
royal decree! Shadow Ravens, let night fall! Yahoo! Quick! Think you can get away? Terra Smash! Say no more! Let's move! Finally, hut! Watch out! More monsters inbound! Lady Hiraki, stay close! Midnight Phantasmagoria! Night play! Terra Smash! This is over! Here we go! Imperial Decree! To the fairy! Yeah. To dust! What? Yeah. Wings of darkness! Come, sever night from time for takeoff! Yeah. Uh. Terra smash! Right. Yeah. Brace Rope. yourself! Uba, get them! Odd, reveal thyself! Uh. Quick! We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? I'm perfectly all right. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. In my letter, I've requested Kamachi to grant you a special travel permit from the Tenryo Commission. My lady. Huh. So that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but no, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us. I'm sure of it. I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I love. The one you love? Shinojo, did you honestly think that... What? No, I, uh, <clears throat> I was just clarifying, that's all. I, I would... You two needn't worry. Please, forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I... Yes, of course. But what will happen if your actions here are discovered? Don't fret. My father has always been one to spoil me. The worst he'd do is sentence me to half a day without food or something. Huh. Paimon never suspected a guy like him could have a son. I wish you a safe journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye, Chisato! Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. We've got goods to shift. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Meet us again. Oh, right! Kamori Tea House! 